Do you want to know how you can win in a multiple offer situation without being the highest offer? Well, watch this short video to find out. Hi, I'm Blake Davenport with the Davenport Group. I'm a local realtor in the DC metro area and here to share with you simple and short real estate tips. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the power of the personal letter. When I mean personal letter, I'm meaning a letter from the buyer to the seller. Um, I always do this in, or have my clients do this in multiple offer situations uh, because it's not just all about sales price. In the DC metro area, it's very competitive here. So most places have a couple offers on them. So we're looking for every little competitive advantage to make our buyers stand out versus other buyers. And one way that we've ha have had success doing that is our personal letter. So we have the uh, buyers write a personal letter to the sellers basically explaining who they are, how they felt about the home, and why they want to live there. Uh, when we are going and are touring through the home, we're looking for items where we can connect with the seller. Maybe they have, they went to the same college or uh, they have outdoors pictures or this or that from national parks and maybe you like that stuff. Or say, if you're buying my house, I went to Penn State and maybe you went to Penn State, so I would probably include that in the letter. Or maybe you're military. Hitting on those aspects, you're forming some kind of a connection because buying a home or Owning a home is an emotional decision. Uh, you know, you are invested in that. It's a big financial decision, but it's, it's also an emotional connection that people have with a home. So the longer that they are there, the more they're going to care about that property. So they're going to care about who takes it over next because they see it as their own. So the more likely that you're to connect with them, the more likely that they're going to go with you over another offer. Uh, this accomplishes several things. If your offer is dead even with another offer, you're, they're more likely to go with you. But I've even had the situations where um, we've seen a tremendous growth in the DC metro area uh, where properties have appreciated three times as much as if people bought them 20 years ago. So a lot of people have made a decent amount of money in the market. So they don't necessarily have to sell it for top dollar. So uh, some people sell it for maybe five or $10,000 less than a, than a competing offer just because they care about the home and they want the home to go to somebody who's gonna take care of the home and be a good neighbor uh, to their neighbors. So every time that we're in a multiple situation, we have our clients do this, uh, you know, say, dear, you know, Billy and Susie, you know, we're the Davenports and we're looking to buy your home. We could imagine our kids uh, growing up and, and playing in the backyard with the dog running around. We love the updates that you've made so-and-so, um, you know, I work at the Pentagon, uh, she's a school teacher, um, you know, we could just see this as the perfect commute or, or perfect location commuting uh, to our jobs and et cetera, et cetera, and you share a little picture, um, that really hits home and it really connects with a lot of people. Just in our experience, we've, as I was saying before, it's been the difference for us between uh, five and $15,000 over a competing offer uh, just because they liked our letter better. So I'm not gonna say it's gonna help every single time, but uh, it only takes about an hour and we, we basically send templates to our clients uh, so they have examples to write off of. Uh, but we do this with every multiple offer situation and it's won us the deal uh, several times. Um, so it's something that you should always do in a multiple offer situation. So to recap real quick, if you want to win in a multiple offer situation or stand out without being the highest offer, I highly recommend writing a personal letter to the owner where you just kind of highlight who you are, uh, why you want to live there and how you felt when you went home, include a personal picture um, and make sure you address the owner's name, uh, dear so-and-so, uh, and it could have a huge impact on whether you win the house or not. I would highly suggest doing it. If you like this video, click the like button below or comment. We'd love to hear what your thoughts on this video. Also, if you want to hear more of our content, uh, click the subscribe button and the bell icon to uh, be notified when we're, our next video is released. Also, if you want to learn more about this topic, we have a link below to our blog post where we work more about this. But thanks for checking out this week's real estate tip. Bye-bye.